I got a theme song! I find- You- No, don't stop! I don't know- It's gonna get stuck in my head, I know it. I've been waiting, I've been waiting like three years, hang on, stop the show, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've been waiting like three years, man, for my own theme song, thank you. Okay. Oh, it's a Kwanzaa miracle. Okay. You know what else I got? Herpes. Hold that thought. <laughs> I've got a magic hat. <laughs> you guys are good with the magic hat, huh? Magic hat is pretty simple. It works kind of like this. If I throw it into the audience, any size audience, a one-person audience, an arena, a stadium, it always comes back to me. It always does. Without fail, it has never failed to come back to me. It has never left my hand, even if I'm throwing it to one child, and not come back to me. At some point, Thank you. It always comes back. I believe in this as sure as I believe in the nose on my face. But thank you for what you did because it highlights something I hoped would happen. I hope all the time. In this room, in any other room, the hat comes right back. Thank you. Here's your hat. But here, we're full of subversives and freaking anarchists. <laughs> you held on to it for a minute and thought, I'm going to scrum him. I'm going to throw him right under the bus. It's a real impulse, but I ask the question, I, and I've been thinking about this a lot, and, and I want to start with the hecklers who live down here, who come for me every week. This isn't really about you. This is a philosophical thought about the whole concept of what we do here, and that is simply this. Why? Why do we want to do that? Why do we want to exit the scene? The scene ends if I tell a joke, and you sit on that, joke's done, but if I can uh, do that, Something magical, which has nothing to do with me and everything to do with that amazing throw. You're a rock star now, because we let the moment continue. Don't exit the moment is, is the mantra that goes through my head all the time. It goes through my head because it, it's this thing. I was like, why am I always going for the joke? Why do we go to joke? Joke's easy. In this room, when we strip away a layer, well, let's face it, we go to the purple veiny dick joke. We go to the joke about the unisex restrooms. We do. And it's funny. And you're welcome. <laughs> and there's an example of the other thing you can do. You see, tension in a room is like a balloon. We can blow it up, and when it gets enough going, the joke, the organic moment, pops it, and there's this beautiful explosion, and we all laugh. Instead of sort of a, uh, which is what happens if it's half full, and we just go for every single joke we can, we let the freaking air out of it. Not so great. Makes a great sound. It is a great sound. Organic moment. We didn't leave that. We dealt with the fact that I did that, and I think that's fantastic. I think we're getting there finally. I think it's exciting that we're finally crossing this boundary where we're not just going for that joke. So I've been thinking about a lot. What stops us? What stops us from going for the joke? I think I figured it out. Purple veiny dick joke, unisex bathroom masturbation joke is safe. It's safe. It's, it's hard to get real. It really is. It, it's hard to take your armor off and be naked and be up here and pour your heart out, isn't it? Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. I've seen a child, a person who could barely walk, do it to me two days ago. I was juggling, and mom put down the child who needed some walking practice. And she walked into the show. Now, for her, it was no further than you and I are apart, but for her, it's the longest, clearly, she had ever walked. I took off my magic hat and I threw it on the ground in front of her and I waited and as she got closer and closer I leaned down and I just started doing this and I just waited I would not exit no matter how long it took no matter how long it took <laughs> and I just waited and I knew eventually what would happen I knew eventually she'd put it back on my head she walked across the room to me. She put it on my head. And I wanted to... That was epic. You know, for us, it's we're throwing a hat around, but for her, this long journey. 
so I, I went for something safe. I went, high five. She looked at my hand, and you have to realize I'm a child this big. I'm down here. Slapped my hand away and reached in and hugged me. Aww. And I was like, oh, that's sweet. She, with no fear, expressed what she had to say. And then I thought that moment was over, and so I tried to stand up. That moment had not ended. <laughs> Still hadn't ended. Still hadn't. She was holding me. I started crying. It got to me. And out in the audience, because there was an audience watching, all the whole juggling show just stopped for this moment. And this moment, because I didn't exit, I could have, of course, I could have gone, you're a little tiny thing. Thank you, go away. It's funny, but it's not... It's an exit. But instead, a room full of people started cheering. They started cheering for something real, for something beautiful, something a little scary. I was vulnerable. It could have very easily been, oh, wow, a kid wrecked the show. But instead, it made the moment. It was one of the most amazing things I'd ever seen because this was a little tiny person without all the stuff we've learned that tells us to just put armor on and just give you the safe purple veiny dick joke answer. I'm going to challenge everyone in this room, and I'm going to challenge everyone who comes to this show from here on out. I don't want you to stop heckling, because it would be like a ghost town in here. The hecklers bring energy. They are the vox populi of this audience. <laughs> it's like a Greek chorus of snark. <laughs> did that really just... It did. Greek chorus. Beautiful. And without that, this would just be me talking to the wind, but instead you guys bring it. But when you bring it, bring it with intent to lift this room to great places. And to those of you who have never done this before, I know you're sitting there going, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'll tell you this. This is a live theater lab. This is where we learn to do everything amazingly well. And it is dependent on you giving back to us and us giving to you and us being willing to stand here and say, I am a naked idiot and I believe that that'll come back to me every time. Thank you, and welcome to the open stage. I didn't say I could catch. Redeemed.